Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at the new TX15 from Radio Master. Initially you might think it looks like a boxer with a bigger screen, uh, it's actually a lot more than that. It does have the big colour touchscreen with Edge TX, so you get all the benefits of being able to program up using the touchscreen. I still prefer the, the black and white screens myself, but also with this radio we get uh, they bumped it up to an h7 processor so four times more processing power uh, speed of loading lua scripts and uh, possible future um, functions as well so it has the lr 1121 this is the max version you can also get a standard version the max version has these new uh, ag02 gimbals which feel just beautiful they just have the right amount of smoothness and tension on on the springs the way they're set up totally configurable from the front and from the back as well uh, you can change modes change range and spring tensions without having to open up the radio the max version comes with this uh, carbon fiber look front the standard versions come in oh, about eight different pastel colors i guess has a uh, solid rotating antenna up the top express lrs as i said uh, four gig of internal memory plus an sd card slot and the six independent buttons along here which can be set up as uh, one single six position switch or six individual switches and really nice uh, alloy trim on the max version we'll have a close look when we get back home after flying but I thought I'd get out here while the weather's good and see how the ergonomics work. It does have these really nice uh, lumps on the back for uh, resting your fingers on. Makes it feel very very nice. Uh, sort of even nicer than the uh, the boxer. Alright enough talking let's go for a fly. can see the screen I don't have it turned up full uh, and the good thing is still visible with sunglasses. Plane's flying itself at the moment while I get settled. That's good. All right, let's fly. So, feels, I'm not even noticing the, the radio, it's nice and rounded, good size, nice and light, doesn't feel like the big heavy uh, TX16S, so I don't even have it on a, a lanyard so that I can film it nice and clearly. This plane is my expert, I'll put a prop on the nose just for something to do. But the radio is feeling excellent. The switches are all in the right positions. Angle mode, manual mode, planes flying well. cruise mode, manual, angle, macro, that's all we need, uh, there's cruise mode, we are going well, yeah it just feels like a, a very nice radio actually, it's, the it, gimbals are very very light, uh, but the resistance on the throttle is just perfect. Stick it into angle mode. Look at that plane looks like it's standing still. <laughs> yeah it feels nice in the hands, just the right size really. Uh, I'm not a fan of the big TX16S, it's just too big I think. Uh, and unnecessary. This feels like a nice compromise between 
the power, we've got milliwatts, only on 100 milliwatts, goes up to one watt of power. I can see in the um, Express LRS lure. Bit of wind blowing us around, but um, oh, it just feels beautiful in the hands. I um, tend to put my finger up there like that, right finger up there for some reason, so that I can get to the switches I guess. But right, that's all feeling good. Very nice, smooth and light on the sticks. You can increase the tension, you can decrease the range if you want to. But yeah, working well as an INAV radio would also work well as a slope saw or a glider radio. Very good at that, I think. It doesn't have sliders on the top, um, which I, I, I always like, but uh, I don't actually use them all that often. I, I use them for uh, pan and tilt. On a, on a gimbal. Oh, the wind's picking up a fair bit here. What's it saying? 21 kilometres an hour. Yeah, it's a bit windier up there than down here. Um, but I found you can use those six switch, six position switches for panning and uh, these days instead of tilt you'd probably use head tracking. Yeah, feeling very nice. Can't fold it at this stage. But we'll go back and have a closer look on the bench. See what the max is all about. See what the standard is all about. Oh yeah, so we've got uh, extra LEDs around the gimbals on this one. You can program them up to do all the flashy colours. If you like that sort of stuff, you can program up all the six position switches to have different colours as well. Um, there are a ton of different themes available. I tend to just uh, change the background image of the standard theme to a, 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 a mid-grey and that does me. I don't like all the uh, fancy images and colours. I think they just get in the way of um, the usability of HTX. But that's HTX, that's not the radio. You can set it up any way you want. So how about pinching? I don't fly pinching, I should try it. That feels pretty reasonable to me. Don't know what a pinch is meant to feel like. Oh, my thumbs fly. But these uh, AGO2 gimbals, they're meant to be lighter and more accurate than the AGO ones, but they're all fantastic compared to the old um, resistor, variable resistor gimbals anyway. They just feel brilliant. I would personally shorten the sticks and have a, a wider end on it, but I can do that myself with 3D printing. But the TX15 is performing beautifully. Just like a boxer with the big colour touchscreen, great stuff. All right, well, I'll bring it in, we'll go back and uh, have a closer look at some of the specs and um, sum it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this radio. So it comes with this nice case as usual and put the radio out, there's the radio there, folding antenna, we also get a quick start guide and charging and data cable and uh, alternate shoulder uh, mounts there and surrounds and springs and allen key and instead of the latching and the momentary buttons on top you can change them for two position and momentary switch. You can also buy as an option a couple of three position switches that will also go into that position there. So all these are three position switches, four of them, a couple of pots, really nice feeling pots, sort of not good um, amount of uh, resistance and very very smooth action with a detent in the middle. Nice quality, they feel very good quality. And there's the AG02 gimbals that come with the Max version of the TX15 and they just feel so smooth and 
um, beautifully damped. Uh, we've got alloy trim buttons, all the usual buttons, and the big touch screen, which is your normal uh, HTX touch screen. Can use the buttons, or we can can use the touch screen as well. The usual system. Lots and lots of themes, by the way. Uh, I can see bona fide pirates themes there. Lots and lots of themes you can choose from. Uh, as I said, what I do usually is just uh, have a, a blank back on the blank background image. Uh, I find the other image a bit, a bit too distracting. But this works very well. Six switches here, which can be one six position, position switch with all different programmable colors and uh, LEDs around the gimbals as well. It's all very good. Adjustment points on the front there for spring tension range and uh, changing from mode one to mode two. Also on the back here for uh, throttle tension and side to side tension. Takes the usual 18650 2S or 21700 and there's uh, space for an SD card in there but you don't really need it because it has 4 gig of internal storage full size JR bay and the soft handle there this is the max this is the spec'd up version that has the AGO 2 gimbals and the uh, carbon fiber look front and the alloy trim and the LEDs as well. The standard versions come in pastel colors. The V5 gimbals doesn't have the LEDs, but they're all uh, directly exchangeable, of course. Has a built-in microphone. There's a little hole there for future use, I guess. That hasn't been revealed yet. The screen is 3.5 inch touch screen for 80 pixels. So these are the three max colors available. Got the gold trim, the red trim, or the black trim. STM32 H750 processor, uh, LR1121 Express LRS transceiver, two CNC hall gimbal, and the, this is the standard version. Oh, there's six pastel colors available. All the same specs, but they've got the V5 Hall gimbals, not the AGO2, but you can buy the AGO2 and pop them straight in if you want to. Doesn't have the extra LEDs around the gimbals, but uh, still would be a very powerful, very nice radio. We have some late breaking news. Uh, radio Master have given us a firmware update, uh, which should be available on all the retail versions of this radio that enables the internal gyro which means that you have a, a tilt x and tilt y that you can use as a channel input and you can see you can use that for tilt and pan on a uh, gimbal or you could use logic to um, make it call out telemetry values and things like that but uh, that's a nice little addition Good stuff. You can see the channels down here moving as I tilt the radio and it's operating the pan and tilt. Cool stuff.